I'm going to show you how to cut a key by beatings. Okay, let's see what I mean by that. For this example, we do have an ignition lock cylinder. In this example, it's for 2002 Dodge Caravan. This is the example, but the idea is the same. Now, what do I mean when I say beatings? Beatings are the cuts of the key. Basically, the cuts of the key. What are the, what are the numbers of the cuts of the key? Uh, this, uh, for this example, this is an eight cut key. And cut number one will be two. Cut number two will be four. And cut number eight will be three. So let's say you have the combination of the key. And sometime you will have it. Okay? And you have a blank key. Okay? A blank key. Now we're going to learn how to cut the key for the lock, okay, for the car, okay? So we have the ignition lock cylinder, okay? Of course, the key is not working, okay? But if we're going to cut the key in this combination, it will work, okay? So let's say you have the combination of the key. Let's see how we do it step by step. In the main menu, you go... To key duplication and right now you're gonna to have to, to choose the make here and model of the car in this particular example is 2002 Dodge Caravan so we're gonna choose Dodge D O D Dodge press confirm after that we're gonna choose the model in this case is Caravan C A R Caravan, press confirm. The year of the vehicle it is 2002. So have a look which one of those the year will fit to the description. Well, it's right here. Generation 4 between 2001 and 2004. Okay, after you press on it, you press confirm. And it gives you some information that this is an 8 cut key and we're going to press confirm. Okay, now we reach to the point where we can put the biddings. Okay, now have a look. Okay, have a look at the biddings. Have a look at the biddings. There you go. And what we're going to do, I want you to pay attention here. We have the key that right now it's not cut yet, as you can see, the shape of the key. And we have question mark, question mark, all of them are question mark. Cut number one is question mark until cut number eight, which is also question mark. Uh, because the key, the key machine tell us, ask us, hey, what, what is the right cut to put? At the bottom, we have the cuts, the key cuts, the depth of the cuts. We have one, two, three, and four. In this key is one, two, three, and four. In other keys, it can be five and also six, can be more cuts. But in this example, we have a cut number one until cut number four. And now what we need to do, we need to put cut number one, until cut number eight, and we need to type it in the correct way. So have a look, these are the biddings. I'm gonna fold this so we can see it, okay? I'm gonna fold it. And let's type it in, cut number one, where you see the orange, this is where we're gonna type it in. So right now, the orange is on cut number one. So cut number one is two, so we're gonna press two. Cut number two, will be four. Okay, now as you can see, as I, as I type it in, it st start to show the, the shape of the key. Cut number three will be two. And by the way, if you made a mistake along the way, no worry, because you can always go here, back and forth, back and forth, okay? Now we are at cut number four. Cut number four is three. Cut number five is two. Six and seven is one, 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 one. And cut number eight is three. Before you go next, you just want to confirm the cuts. Two, four, two, three, two, one, one, three. Two, four, two, three, two, one, one, three. That's the correct cuts. Next, what we need to do, we need to take the, the right key and we need, of course, Look at this illustration. First of all, make sure that you are in the correct clamp. In this example is M1. There you go, here is M1 clamp. Now we need to stop it at 
uh, where you can see the yellow arrow. Okay, so we need to slide the key in, and we need to take the stopper, and we need to put the stopper just like that, and all the way here. Then we slide the key all the way, and we need to close the clamp. Once we close the clamp, now we need to close the Allen screw, the pressure screw, so the key will not gonna be tilt up and down. Okay, once you did it, you can remove it and make sure the key is not moving. Okay, obviously now you're gonna close the, uh, the, the cover, but I'm gonna leave it open for this video. And basically right now, after you confirm everything sit correctly, you're gonna press cut and let the machine cut the key. Do you want to know how to program car keys and remotes for all type of vehicles and easily? Well, if you do, then I have the perfect solution for you. Hi, my name is Moshe and I'm an owner of a locksmith company for over 10 years. I'm an expert when it comes to program car keys and remotes. I created a website full of videos and tutorials that will show you step by step how to program all type of car keys and remotes. From transponder keys to remote head keys to smart keys for vehicles that have a push to start system. By using this website, you will be able to program car keys and remotes easily Easily and you will be able to be successful on your first try. All you will have to do is follow a few simple steps. Go to the search bar and type the make, gear and model of the car that you would like to program the key for and press enter. Then choose the correct video from the suggested videos. Make sure that the vehicle make, gear and model appear in the description list below the video. And follow the video step by step, it's that easy. And if you would like to order the key that is being explained in the video, that's not a problem. Just press on the link at the bottom of the description and you can order the exact same key that is being explained in the video, it's that easy. To find to find out more, go to www.laxmithvideosonline.com Okay, once the machine finished, of course, we're gonna have to clean all of the metal pieces here. Okay, and we're gonna have to open the Allen key. Open the clamp. And now it's time to test the key. Put it inside. As you can see, open the cylinder with no problem and check the other side and the same thing open the cylinder very smoothly okay so basically that was how to cut the key by beating few things to pay attention of course make sure to position the key the right way every car it will be different sometimes you're gonna have to use the m1 clamp and sometimes you're gonna have to use the m2 clamp make sure that you pay attention where to stop the key using the stopper. Sometimes you're gonna have a key with a shoulder, you're gonna have to stop it here, right here, right here. Of course, 
if it's a key with a shoulder, slide it here. If it's a key without a sh shoulder, normally you're gonna have to stop it here, but always pay attention to this illustration. It will tell you which clamp to use and where to stop the key. So position it the key, position the key the correct way, that's a key. Okay, some cars, you're gonna have four depth. Some cars are gonna have more than four. Some cars are gonna have eight cuts like this one. Some cars are gonna have six cuts and some cars you may have 10 cuts. Some cars like the Honda, okay, will have two sides of, you have one side and then you're gonna have to put on the other side. So basically you're gonna have, this was just one example, but that was the idea how to cut a key by beating. So of course, of course, of course, you're gonna have to choose the make, year and model of the vehicle the correct way, the same way that I did it. And after that, you're gonna have to pay attention how many cuts the key have and you have to type in the correct beating. That was the example right now, but in your case, it can be different, of course. After you're done, position the key the correct way, press cut, and basically once it be done, you have the key already cut. Okay, basically that was how to cut a, a key by beating. When I say beating, I mean that you have the correct cuts. And uh, for this example, we did 2002 George Caravan, but the idea is exactly the same for all of the vehicles. Do you want to know how to program car keys and remotes for all type of vehicles and easily? Well, if you do, then I have the perfect solution for you. Hi, my name is Moshe and I'm an owner of a locksmith company for over 10 years. I'm an expert when it comes to program car keys and remotes. I created a website full of videos and tutorials that will show you step by step how to program all type of car keys and remotes. From transponder keys to remote head keys to smart keys for vehicles that have a push to start system. By using this website, you will be able to program car keys and remotes easily Easily and you will be able to be successful on your first try. All you will have to do is follow a few simple steps. Go to the search bar and type the make, year and model of the car that you would like to program the key for and press enter. Then choose the correct video from the suggested videos. Make sure that the vehicle make, year and model appear in the description list below the video. And follow the video step by step, it's that easy. And if you would like to order the key that is being explained in the video, that's not a problem. Just press on the link at the bottom of the description and you can order the exact same key that is being explained in the video, it's that easy. To find to find out more, go to www.laxmicvideosonline.com.